how you all doing? Welcome to this numbers tutorial. I know I don't do many numbers tutorials, but I do get asked quite a few questions off some of the tutorials that I do have out there for numbers and pages and stuff. And somebody asked me recently about pivot tables, and I know that numbers um, quite a few updates ago bought out pivot tables. And I also got asked the question about using a numbers table to do basic accounting for small businesses and stuff. So I thought I'd combine both of those questions and create a pivot table using a basic sort of invoicing spreadsheet. Um, so I've already created that basic spreadsheet here. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. So here's my, my, my basic demo um, accounting table, if you like. So over here, let me show you how I've set this up. I've got invoice date, invoice number, product that I've sold, price, and then the tax that goes on to that, and I'll be referring to UK tax, which is um, at 20%. So um, invoice date, what I've done here, I've, I've just put obviously the date of the invoice that was sent to a client. But the way I've set this up, the date, and again, if you're in a different country, I know that your date format is different. So just set it up the way you prefer to have the date. So let me select this cell here. If we go over to um, the format, and we um, and we go to the cell tab on the right hand side. Um, you can see my date and time format. It would essentially, when you set this up, be on automatic. Just drop it to date and time, and then remove any time. There's no need to have the time there. Just remove the time, um, and that's the way I've set that one up. So now I could go into um, any any sort of date here, 29th of September, 20. 22 and I could write it in any format so I could write 29th of September um, and then write 2022 or just do 22 and when I press enter it will always default to the the format that I've selected at the drop down here so you just select the drop down and you can have any format so I've just populated these and made them all 2021 um, just so we're not operating in the future all I've done here is I've done my invoice number so if you just do the first Invoice, invoice number. Let me change this slightly and just show you what I mean. And again, drag that anchor point. And every time you create a new invoice, just drag that anchor point down, and it will um, it will just follow on the sequence. Really simple. So here, what I've done, um, I've created a pop up menu. So go to the first cell, create, drop the um, go to cell over here again. And then just populate the services that you would essentially offer in, in a product. If you indeed want to um, use a pop-up menu, you might just want to type it freehand. So over here, the price, all I've done is um, table sell over here on the format, um, currency, two decimal places. And the reason this pound sign, Great British pound sign, um, choose any currency, is left aligned is because I've put it on accountancy style. So that's accountancy style. And again, you can just drag that down um, and then that will carry the formatting down or you can just populate each one. Because remember, you're probably going to do this one at a time. So you just populate each one. And then over here, I've got the tax and the way I've worked the tax out. If I double click and show you the formula that I've used, let me just remove, just remove this one for now. So I've gone into here. I've pressed the equal sign and then I've gone over here, pressed this cell here and then um, shift and eight, which gives you the multiplication sign. And then I've done 20%. So that will give me the tax that I owe on this cell here. And again, just copied it all down. So this is, and the reason it's in red is I've just highlighted this, um, this cell. So that is my basic accounting spreadsheet, really simple. Um, and if you wanted to view it in these terms, you could view it in these terms. So now I'm going to create a pivot table out of this. So in order to do that, I need to select somewhere. So the table selected and you can select anywhere. You can select a cell if you like. And on the um, top in the gray bar here, I've got create pivot table on a new sheet for the selected table. Yes, that's exactly what I would do. So then I go over to the pivot table and I can go to pivot table options. But um, on the pivot table options over here, this is where our it tells us our source data is taken from the demo sheet over here. Um, and it was last refresh. This is the refresh button over here. So if you change anything on the main table, you have to come over to the pivot table and click refresh in order for it to pull those updates through. So 
Um, let's see what I want here. I want my invoice data, I want my invoice number, I want my product, I want my price, and I want my tax. So, so this gives us a really nice view of all of the information on this sheet here, but broken down into categories on the left-hand side. And we can move this over just to give us a little bit more space. So you can see at the top here at the moment, I've got my invoice numbers, and that's because in my columns, it's um, it's given me, that's where I've got my invoice numbers essentially at the top. Um, ideally, I'm gonna put the date there, but before I do that, let me just talk you through some of the options that we have here. So we, we don't have to, we don't have to be viewing everything. So we can see here is our grand total of everything that we've earned from the invoices that we've inputted into this sheet here, um, everything we've earned, and then this tax is just gonna keep us up to date on the tax that we have. What you can also do in these columns, um, I'm gonna show you this with the date, but let me show you, we, we can move stuff around first. So I don't want these, um, the invoice number necessarily in the columns. I want the invoice number down here in the rows. I want the invoice date. So I'm just clicking and dragging and dropping. I want the invoice date up here in the columns. But when you first do this, mine has come across okay. Um, and that's because I'll click the little information button. I've grouped it by year and month. If we just did it by month, it might not necessarily sort it in the right way. You know, you might have December 1st, depending on what you've got in this side over here. You might have December 1st, and the way to change this, you can change it by um, ascending or descending. So you can switch that around if you wanted December at the first and then April at the back end. So yeah, I hope I answered both questions there. I know numbers tutorials are always generally long because you want to explain as much as you can. Um, but yeah, I hope this helps in some way. Take care, I'll, um, I'll catch you all soon. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Cheers.